And now we are going to bring on Andy Quitmeyer. There he is. <laughs> I am currently being swarmed with sloths. <laughs> there is a sloth. Um, <laughs> sloth. Sloth. They're, sloth they're, they're very cute. They're kind of like uh, slow moving zombies. Um, they have incredibly sharp teeth, the two toed sloths. So these are two toed sloths, by the way. Um, they're all open hardware. All their sword code is in every cell of their body. Um, <laughs> they're very cute. Uh, I'm at, uh, let me give you a little uh, intro to where I'm at. So I'm at the APPC Animal Rescue right now, uh, which is a really cool, nice uh, animal rescue that takes in animals. This one is uh, a little bit grumpy. It's not getting its carrots in time. Um, <laughs> And it helps rehabilitate uh, and release uh, animals that have been poached. Um, usually, uh, uh, they're basically all orphans. Um, usually, the moms uh, get killed or hit by cars, or um, they get burned up by uh, electrical transformers. Um, basically, the, the main challenge is habitat fragmentation. So when we put a big road, um, excuse me, I'm talking right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Park this. Oh, check that out. Okay, cool. Um, so here I am. These are four slots right now. Um, so yeah, there's habitat fragmentation. We go put a big road through, uh, you know, a nice jungle or something like that. And these slots, even though they're very slow, they're always moving. Um, so these slots in nature only eat the uh the like freshest uh mas tierna, um uh most tender uh leaves um on on uh trees and so they go to like a mango tree and they only snip the really fresh little buds and so they're kind of constantly moving and looking for new mango trees um and so they can actually cover a decent amount of ground especially these kind these again are the the hoffman's two-toed sloths um, they're, uh, on Wikipedia, they're described as fast and aggressive for sloths, which is why uh, you might see me uh, using my amazing skills here to rapidly feed them before they get too grumpy. Um, but so yeah, at the animal rescue, it's really nice. Um, it's uh, a bunch of volunteers and uh, uh, a couple people were able to actually hire um, in order to uh, feed and take care of. We have about 50 sloths right now, <laughs> which is nuts. Uh, we're able to release about 95% of the animals uh, that we take in. And um, I want to toss this out there. While they're doing a uh, membership uh, drive today with Oshawa, if you like open source hardware today, and today only, I'll sponsor up to two memberships with a reciprocal donation to the animal rescue so how about this for uh the next two memberships that come in i'll give 25 bucks that's how much your membership is right um i'll give 25 bucks to these cute goofballs um which and all that money basically goes to food we go through about 1200 dollars in just food feeding these different animals and we don't just have sloths. There are, there's a tapir in the backyard. Uh, we have an ocelot. Um, we just released uh, some squirrels. There's cute possums. There's less traditionally cute possums. Um, there's spider monkeys. There's all kinds of fun uh, endangered animals that uh, we work to help out here. And so I'll personally um, give up to 50 bucks uh, to match donations to Oshawa. So the next two people who get memberships, you're also supporting sloths. Um, so I'll just let Sid and Lee let me know when we can make those awesome donations go. It'll be great. Um, any questions about sloths? Oh, I should introduce you to these sloths. Um, this one was named by a three-year-old daughter of, uh, oh no, she was five at that time, of the animal rescue here. Um, and its name is Rock and Roll. So this is Rock and Roll over here. 
This one kind of reaching up um, over here. This is grumpy. Grumpy is grumpy because he's kind of grumpy all the time. He also had his whole face burned off. Um, so, you know, you got you to gotta kind of give it to Grumpy. This one's name is Swabby because when we tested them uh, for COVID with little swabs, it saw the swab and just came running over. It was like, oh, I want to eat that swab, which the other ones, it was kind of harder to swab them. And then this one coming here right now, this one's name is iPhone 5C Refurbished. <laughs> And that's because it's like, it's a, it does a fine job. It's an all right sloth. It kind of does what you need. It doesn't have any bells and whistles uh, for a sloth. And so that's our, our four that uh, you're meeting right now. We got Rock and Roll, iPhone 5C Refurbished, Swabby, and Grumpy. Um, Y'all might have questions about these weird things. Hopefully you can still hear me and I'm still connected. I am basically in the jungle surrounded by sloths in an old kind of condemned canal working house near the Panama Canal. <laughs> so who knows what's going on? I could be talking to myself uh, while surrounded by sloths. We can still hear you. Uh, we still see oh. the sloths. Um, oh, feeling much better acquainted with all the sloths. We did get one sloth sponsored member already. So there's only one slot left. Yep. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who wants their membership to go towards sloths? Bring it in. Yeah. Hey, 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 thank you for sponsoring a sloth as well as Open joining Hardware. as a member. <laughs> and then we, uh, Birdie wants us to know that iPhone 5C refurbished is functioning correctly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it's true. I, I agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. From my visual inspection, it appears to be correctly. working as I would expect a sloth to work. And Sometimes you get too many photos on it. And you have to delete some photos, but then it goes but back. it's fine, you know? It's, <laughs> it's functioning. Yeah. Um, we've also got Straith wondering, uh, how much do you have to donate to choose a sloth name oh. at APCC? <laughs> That's a great idea. Um, I do have uh, two new sloths uh, that uh, came in that could use names. So I'm gonna let um, Lee and Sid, here, how about this? Lee and Sid, you decide a price and then um, whatever price that is, we'll split the money between uh, the APPC and uh, the uh, Oshawa. Okay. Okay, if someone gets a $300 annual membership, which people have gotten before, mm -hmm. Um, we'll do if, it. if someone gets a three hundred dollar annual membership, then uh, there you go. And also, if you are already a member and therefore that doesn't quite work out, we will just we can just do that as a direct donation. Yeah. We do also have the option to just donate directly to Oshawa to APCC, so we can make that happen that way as well. If you already have uh, a membership, um, we'll just we'll just take three hundred dollars. <laughs> We'll, yeah, and we'll split and we'll it. split it. We'll split it. Half goes to Oshawa and half goes to uh, APPC. A APPC and the sloth that you have named. Yeah, exactly. I'll send you a little video of your sloth, whatever its cool name is. Um, I'll put in the caveat that we re we reserve the right to reject a sloth name if somehow they're that feels fair or something like that. <laughs> but in general. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> keep it keep it cool, guys. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Maybe keep it techy, you know? Yeah. Keep it open source. Keep it open source. <laughs> <laughs> open source names only. <laughs> um but yeah, these sloths are wonderful little guys. Also, I think uh, uh something that we see a lot in our certification database is actually Andy certifying various tools and activities for these little critters. So that's a pretty fun thing. Yeah, Andy, um, do you want to tell us a bit about Dyn I know you're going to come on later and tell us about Mothbox, but do you want to tell us a little bit about Dynalab? Yeah, sure. So um, I'm, a, I'm not a Dyn, I'm at the APC right now, but down the street, we have our own little laboratory called Digital Naturalism Labs, and we make open source hardware for field biologists, and cute, silly creatures. Um, iPhone 5C wants my attention. Okay. Um, but uh, what we do is we try to make uh, tools that are made to be used by non-humans. And so we've done a lot of animal enrichment toys. The sloths 
don't really need much enrichment. This is this is the most activity they're gonna get all day. They actually work up a sweat. Let me show you their uh, their glistening noses. <laughs> um, that's like the most activity they're gonna get today, and they get real real hog wild getting these carrots. But um, some of the other animals, they really need a lot of enrichment. Like, uh, let me show you. There's a tapir outside. Hopefully, we can still see her. Uh, yeah, there she is. Oh yeah, we know Valencia we from know uh, sweet beautiful from Valencia. Instagram. <laughs> exactly, there's beautiful Valencia eating some plants I just harvested for her. Um, so she's a big 450 pound uh, elephant donkey kind of thing, and uh, and she needs a lot of enrichment, or else she gets the grumpies and she just starts smashing things. So we made her some fun feeding toys, uh, Paula Tay. Um, actually came here and made, uh, there's a, a cool, you see a, a rusty steel looking crazy piece of metal out there. Um, uh, we welded that up together to put plants on there for her in order to uh, give her something that more resembles a realistic feeding thing where she has to use her cute little trunk to reach up and, and snorf plants off of, uh, of things. And so, uh, yeah, so we'll build some fun uh, enrichment toys, worked with like the Singapore Zoo before, making enrichment toys for like red panda, uh, orangutans, uh, leopard. Uh, they had there all kinds of, of fun, different things. But uh, yeah, there's other things too that aren't necessarily enrichment, but like these sloths, for instance, we have to hang leaves. So this is just the early breakfast I'm giving them. Um, these sloths are actually nocturnal. So uh, this is actually their, their dinner i guess but we hang leaves from these kind of branches we have around here and it's kind of time consuming if you can design a thing that can hang a random set of branches or leaves small tender leaves um that we could easily pop leaves into and then clean them off and can resist sloth bites um we're interested in that kind of thing so that's a, that's a fun design challenge can you make something that resists uh these amazing sloth jaws <laughs> um yeah how am i doing on time i uh i think um i mean if if you have one thing to leave uh the beautiful people of the stream with uh what would it be if you had one message for for the people listening we did get our um, second sloth we did get sponsorship, we, by the way. Our second sloth sponsorship. We got so both of them. That's amazing. We did our job. Good Jasmine, work, everybody. Jasmine, uh, came Ooh. through with the second uh, sloth membership. So, yay, sloths. Yes. <laughs> pushing, us up, pushing us up to five. <laughs> and then that we also did the the did you said. <laughs> and Bien we also did <laughs> David join. Thank you, David, for yes. becoming a member. Look at that. We are Six. membering up. We love it. 94 okay. more to go, guys. 94 more. <laughs> wow. Um, I got I got invited to come over to the secret baby room. If you want your heart to just absolutely shatter into a zillion pieces. Let's just um, get a little peek at these babies. Oh. So this one's in an incubator. And it has to be filled with a little syringe, so it's a recent orphan. Um, and so this is one, for instance, that you could probably name. Um, it's very cute, and it's very sweet, and it needs attention, um, a lot of attention, like, you know, kind of 24 hours a day attention. Um, so uh, they're really cute and sweet. They sleep a lot, but they also need to, to eat a lot, um, you know, just probably every 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and it's very cute. You can see some of these ones that are really, really small, they uh, need to be in an incubator to kind of uh, stay alive. Here's ones that have graduated from the incubator. They're very cute. Look at this pile of sloth. And so as I said before, these are the two-toed sloths and they all have, uh, they're all nocturnal. Um, so they just went to bed for the day. They're really cute little piles. And soon they're gonna move to kind of larger facilities 
for the sloths um, where they move around, practice hunting leaves. Um, and then we move them to an outdoor facility where they get rained on, they start growing their moss that, uh, I'll let this car go by. They start growing moss in their fur and then they start getting moths, like the flappy things that grow in the moss on the sloths. So there's sloth, moss, moth. Um, but yeah, here's this little sweetheart. Um, and it's doing real good. Um, I think its mom got hit by a car. Um, and so they were able to rescue it. So these sloths are amazing. Adorable. And they're as a adorable. reminder, you can potentially name that fresh little adorable baby. Mm -hmm with the $300 donation or $300 membership. $300, yeah, donation or membership, and we will split it. So half will go to Oshawa and half will go to supporting the adorable sloths. And, and with that, we're going to say thank you so much, Andy, for visiting us mm -hmm. with the sloths and the agoutis and beautiful Valencia. And we're going to go to our next speaker. See you, see you later tonight, Andy. Ciao.